Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How the Ale. Tonight we are going for a stout and the stout is from the Witchwood range. Uh, it's one of the newer beers in the range. It is this one. It is Diceman. And Diceman is a 5% stout. And it says on the back, go all in with Diceman. Jet black, silky smooth stout. A bold combination of dark malts creates a smoky aroma of toffee and plums. Expect a warming flavour of licorice and dried fruits with an alluring cocoa sweetness and a bitter coffee finish, an odds-on favourite. And I am a big, big fan of Black Witch and I believe Black Witch has now been discontinued. It started life as a stout back in the day and then was rebranded when Marston's took over as a porter. Uh, so this is the sole, as far as I'm aware, dark offering of uh, of the the current which would range so it's obviously in the new style labels which have caused much furor amongst many you know i like it for what it is it's not hobgoblin the hobgoblin had its kind of thing as did black witch black witch was a stunning label it really really worked well you had that nice ethereal kind of dark vibe to it and diceman kind of has a similar thing albeit with a little comical almost monty python-esque little diceman and yeah i like it you know you've got that kind of funky little gas mask covered guy down there as well it's pretty cool i like it anyway is it a good stout though let's find out so we're going to pour into the hobgoblin glass and hopefully all goes well now as a little caveat i like to drink my stouts room temp because i think the flavors kind of permeate a little more so this one is room temperature so the pour is dark entirely as expected now because it's room temp i don't want to excite it too much I don't want to get a massive head on it that said i'm pouring it not overly aggressively and we've got There we go. We've got near as damn it a pint of stout. It's a 500ml bottle and it was a quid 50 ish in Morrison's. So, and of course, the, the newer ones like Shy Giant and of course Diceman are available in Morrison's only at the moment as well as the Brewery Direct. So, what we got? We've got a jet black beer. The head was about a finger or so, but it's dissipating fairly quickly. It's kind of tan in colour and reasonably compact it's consistent at least that's your beer in a glass you know it's jet black it looks good you know if i hold it up a little to the light you've got a little bit of mahogany at the bottom just at the very extremes of the glass but otherwise it's jet black as a good stout should be let's have a whiff or big coffee smoky coffee bit of ch bitter chocolate coming through It smells very, very good. I love coffee in a stout. I love chocolate in a stout. If we get those little bits of plums and licorice offerings as well, you know, it could be a really, really well-rounded stout. Cheers. Tasty. It is tasty. I'm getting a little bit of that licorice. I'm not a huge fan of licorice and the fact that it's not overpowering is a good thing for me. There is coffee in abundance. It, think of it like that, like a latte but ramped up. That kind of levels of smooth, creamy coffee. And it's, it's gonna be creamy because it's probably balanced out with those cacao type flavors that are going on. Flavors are spot on. It's really nice, warming, earthy, everything you expect from a stout. It's got all those kind of flavor characteristics coming through. The one thing I will say, the body is a little bit thin. A stout of, e even from other big brewers like Guinness, it's got more body to it. It's a heavier consistency. This is, ver this is very similar to Black Witch in that sense and 
as such, you know, if you want a stout but you don't want that square meal in a glass that Guinness would give you, then something like this would be perhaps a little bit better for you. But the flavours, spot on. Cannot fault them. They are really, really tasty. Mm. Very, very good. There's low bitterness throughout, as you kind of would expect. The finish, you get that roasted malt really, really coming through at the end. And there's that, that kind of almost, almost burned flavour that works really, really well. It's a, it's a really heavily roasted kind of flavour going on. I like it. Mmm. Nice. So, Diceman from Witchwood. What do I think of you? Would I buy you again? I would. I like the flavours. I like the, the coffee, I like the chocolate, I like the rich dark roasted malt finish. There's that tiny, tiny hint of the promised licorice. Do I get much in the way of the plums though? No, not really. There, there's an element of the toffee though, that, that is present throughout. You know, that, that little bit of sweetness that sits behind the chocolate. It's not the chocolate itself because that's a little bit more bitter chocolate. Um, so all in all, a very, very well-rounded flavour. Would I rush out and buy again? I would, because, and there's two reasons for this. Um, the flavor, obviously, of Diceman is spot on. The downside is it's only available to me, anyway, from two places, Morrison's and the Brewery Direct. My previous shopping kind of supermarket of choice, excuse me, has always been Tesco. Um, but lately, during this crazy lockdown period, uh, Tesco I found really wanting in many respects in terms of what they're keeping on the shelf and Morrison's have severely upped their game and they've got a lot more on the shelf of a wider variety of goods and for that reason I'm, I'm finding myself shopping there more so I'm more likely to go and buy a bottle of this than say a bottle of Guinness in Tesco in fact if I was to put this side by side with Guinness I would pick this anyway uh, so on the flavour alone so yeah, I would rush out and buy it again. Is there anything I dislike? Yes, I would like it to be heavier. I would like a heavier body. Um, because when I'm drinking a stout, I wanna know I've got a stout in every possible way. I want those ro roasted flavors, I want the coffee, I want the chocolate, and I've got the flavors. I'm just missing a little bit of that body. Um, it's It's middle on the body at most, it's it could do with being heavier, ladies and gents at Witchwood. Um, but that's just my personal taste. I know many, many people enjoy a lighter stout. And for that reason, for the for the fact that for me, it's a little bit lacking in the body, I'm going to give Diceman Stout from Witchwood Brewery four out of five on the old untapped score sheet, which by anyone's records is a blooming decent score. Uh, it would have got higher if it had a bigger body. So, ladies and gents, down the bottom are some buttons. You know exactly what to do with them. This has been The Beer. I've been Nick, and I will see you again soon for another video. Take it easy.